Hello everybody, Targali, and welcome back to another episode of Crimson Skies. I am now running on version 1.1, and a couple of things have changed when it comes to that, but let me first show you real quick. I died a horrible, painful, tragic death <laughs> when I stuck my head into the nether. Um, we'll go there in a minute. Um, I spawned in there in a portal on top of a nether fortress, and then just got bombed barded by blasts uh, by gas instantly and died i did get my stuff back and i'm already back at 32 levels now so i got a bunch of stuff here that i want to take in there in a little bit and try to make a little bit of a a safe room so when i go in there i i you know i can i can actually load first before i die <laughs> uh, but like i said we go there in a minute I wanted to automate this right here today, but I am not sure if we're going to get to it. I really hope we will because Pixel has done a bunch of changes to the mod pack. And I want to show you guys first, the biggest change to me right now is that you cannot make lava with cobblestone anymore. So I can probably take this with me. I cannot right click these anymore. They don't work. You need to use obsidian now to make lava. Um, It's not a big deal but it definitely is going to um hamper possible lava power i think because even though you do get i don't have this turned on right now the cobble gen here let's see how much obsidian do i have uh, almost four stacks but still that is very little right um compared to how much cobble we had before so that's one change um, let me drop this off right here. Um, the other thing I did is I did make a bunch of metals between episodes because I prepared a lot of stuff. You guys see there's a ton of metals in here. Um, even some seared stone that we'll need today. I made iridium. What? Oh, that, those are the ores that we had in that chest over there. That was the iridium, um, aluminum, tungsten, and titanium. But I also smelted up all the osmium. Only five blocks? Did I pour some of that? I don't remember. And we got five ingots of nickel. We got over 10 blocks of iron. I made a bunch of that. Uh, still almost four blocks of bronze. And a little bit over two blocks of tin. And over here... Oh yeah, I can take these with me. I wanted to show you. I made a bunch of nether quartz. Um, and then put that in here. And we also get a sulfur dust as a byproduct. So um, we need the, all this quartz here for automating the transmutation for our ores today and then this here is a side product that you get from i'm actually gonna leave this here for right now uh, this is a side product you get from crushing gold and the manganese uh, i think that's something i just had an ore we needed to make that and this one you cannot put in the smeltery i just wanted to show you that we can't crush it but we cannot put it into the smeltery so i'll have to figure out where to process that and here we have a bunch of stuff prepared We'll go through that in a minute. But the, uh, another very big change has to do with this quest here now. There's a mod in the pack. Now, I don't know if it was there before. It was just wasn't used or if he just added that. It. It's the, what is it called here? The artisan work tables. Okay. And we need that in order to make a lot of, let, let me go here real quick. Let's go to the um, mason's work table right here. Um, in order to make, for example, the coke bricks now or the blast bricks, you need to use um, the mason work table with a trowel tool in there. And then you need cyan stained bricks and gray stained bricks and some gray concrete powder. So you change the recipes up there and you need to use this table here. And you see right here, this one uses water apparently as as a ingredient or something you use. And then the blacksmith work table uses lava um let me see here real quick the tailor work table doesn't use anything mason like i said water and then we also have the jeweler's work table which doesn't use anything either and that's for gems but the big one is the blacksmith work table here okay this is how you now make ingots and vice versa nuggets you can't just use your crafting table anymore to make these shaped recipes or shape less, I guess they are. You need to use the thing here. So I figured we're going to have to make some of these. And in order to make them, I'm going to do that with you guys. We need to put that next to a botania flower. And I'm going to get you have to figure out. Um, is it just like that? Um, 
usage right here yeah we get the work table and then that one's okay so i can put all five here because i think there's five different ones and i'm gonna make that out oh yeah and i made a little bit bigger sugarcane farm um i just moved it from there to over here because i needed a lot of redstone right i'm gonna need to have a lot of that oh, really you pick up a wooden thing with a pickaxe that makes a lot of sense um because I've been on top of making, um, I just added all the sugar. Um, I made two stacks. Um, the dull dust so I get all the redstone, right? Because I, I gotta start getting me a bit of better supply or reserves of redstone. I have almost three stacks right now, so that should be enough for right now. And I can always put more over there. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, let's check here real quick if the quest takes us any further. Yes, okay. So now it's telling us we need to make these four. Okay. And so I'm going to keep one. I actually don't know. It's where are we going to put this? Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to put them in the ground? I'm not really sure. I don't want to. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't we? I, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> I don't just want to throw them somewhere. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right there. Okay, so this is a basic work table. Let's see if this is just like a crafting table. No, it is not. Okay, is there a recipe thingamabob I can click on here? There's no recipes. Okay, so what do we do with you? Nothing. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I guess, leave this one right here. But we need to transmute the other one. So one of them is going to make the tailor work table. And then that one, we get the mason work table. And then out of that one, we get the blacksmith work table. And out of that one, we get the jewelers. And then back to the tailors. Okay. So I guess... Well, uh, hello? <laughs> um... Uh, so I'm just gonna have to kind of guess of when I get the one back that I want. Okay. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Okay, so I got two of them. I don't want to. I got two of them. This is kind of funny. Okay. Let's see what we get out of this one. Okay, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this kind of cracks me up. I mean, can you make this a little bit slower, maybe? Okay, so I keep getting the same two. Uh, don't I turn this one into the work? And then this one turns into the jeweler. And then I still need the, the tailor. Okay. I'm, I'm not really sure how to do this. I guess I just keep trying my luck until I get the other two. There we go. We got this guy. Now I'm just going to put them here for now. So now I'm still missing the tailor. I got it. Yes. Okay. So we don't need this guy here. So let's get rid of this. And put the tailor right there. And I'm going to put this one... I don't have any room in these chests here. Yeah, I do here. Okay, good. So nice. So we got this completed and that completes this chapter again. Now, was there something else? Oh, yes. This one right here, by the way, now gets a reward of four steel axles, which I don't remember. Those were the ones that were hard to make, wasn't it? I think so. That's where I ground out. But now we got four extra steel axles. And I can just put them right there. Okay, so now we have eight. All right, anyways, um, let's put this away. We don't need it. So this part right here, um, I re-recorded after um, I was done because I didn't like it. It was just too long. And so in case you're wondering why my hotbar is different in my levels and so on, so now you know why. I took them from over here and I rearranged them right here just to tuck them away a little bit, right? I want to keep everything compact. And I do note, um, wanted to note, by the way, that if you have them next to each other, like I have these two, you can access them each from one, just like with Tinker's Construct, right? 
Um, but I don't see any reason for that. I, I, if I want to do something in the Mason's work table, I go in the Mason's work table, right? So, but in case you, you want to do it that way, you can. Now, I wanted to just show you guys each one of them here real quick on what you do with them, okay? And I uh, noticed that um, you cannot just make bricks in the furnace anymore. You now need to use the kiln. So you right click with a clay ball and then it places a clay brick here and it cooks it, right? Which brought me to, well, how do I make the bricks here to make the kiln, right? But apparently there's another recipe now. Oh, I picked it up. And that is you can use in the millstone, you can use terracotta to break them into four bricks. So just wanted to let you know um, that that is still a thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and use them uh, real quick. So the jeweler's work table, I made an uh, artisan's stone gem cutter, just like that, stick, two stone and a string. And then this one right here, the jeweler is for anything gem related now. You need to do this in here. This recipe does not work in the regular crafting tables anymore, okay? So if you check here, you cannot make a lapis block anymore. You need to use this guy. So that is how you can make a lapis lazuli block. And it used up, wow, 30 durability on the thing. Wow. And to turn it back, you do the same thing. Okay, you put it back in here. Um, the blacksmith work table requires you to put some lava in it. I put two buckets and I actually moved it before. That's why this hammer already lost, lost a little bit of durability. But if you put an ingot in here, you can break it down into nuggets. It uses a little bit of lava. Uh, 111, let's check real quick. And when we turn it back into an ingot, 111, 101. So it uses 10 durability, and it looks like it used 80 millibuckets or 40 millibuckets of lava per operation. Well, it puts a lot more extra work in there, but I'm okay with it. And then, for example, to make brick, um, the bricks now, you need to make eight little bricks and white, one white concrete powder. And that makes you two bricks, okay? So we're gonna make them in case I ever need them. And this one requires the shovel, uh, trowel, sorry, artisan stone trowel. Again, recipes are very simple for these tools. And this one here needed the hammer that looks just like that. And then the last one is the tailor's work table where you now make wool with it. Let's see here, 131 goes down to 116. So that is 15, yep, yeah, use 15 durability on this guy right here there's many different versions that like the iron one i think has a, a little bit over double the durability but i don't want to waste uh, iron on this right so i just wanted to show you guys how to use these four um and you're gonna have to get used to them because you need them for a lot of things that you would usually do in a different way right what we're gonna do is i want to make these seven machines Okay, so we get them out of the way. We need a squeezer, a carpenter, a fermenter, centrifuge, still, and feeling moist. This is a, a moistener right there. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm gonna need. Why did I make eight? If I only, I'm only gonna make six right now. I know I need six for sure uh, of these sturdy casings, and then this is the carpenter. And then I, I don't know which one is which. I just prepared everything. The centrifuge. And then this one is the fermenter. By the way, the gears I made right there in the metal press. It takes four ingots per gear. And this is copper. The other ones over here were bronze, just in case you're wondering. And then this one here is the squeezer. And then the last one is the still. All right, cool. So we got these six done. Um, I think I'm going to put them on this side here. Let's just put them down and hook them up real quick. And then the last one is going to be the thermionic fabricator. I haven't, I totally forgot to prepare that. So let's see here. We have the carpenter. Right now, we, we don't have the luxury of making multiples of these. So I'm just going to fill this with, with seed oil or lava and whatever I need by hand. Um... Let's see here, what makes more sense next to this? If I put the squeezer, I th I don't think it will put the seed oil next to it automatically. I think you need to pipe it, if I remember that right. Let's use the centrifuge, fermenter, moistener, and still. All right, this is the one I'm really after here because we can then finally make mycelium and then we can uh, get our hands on some mushrooms. It's about time, right? Um, duh. I only have uh, one. 
I have enough wires. But we're gonna need, um, what is it again? I need three copper, I think, to make this. But I think it only gives me four. So I'm gonna need another set. Sure, eat all my copper. My hard-earned copper. There we go. And by the way, the power generation that we have cannot keep up with anything. <laughs> We definitely need to work on a little better power. Um, I was thinking of getting everything together so we can set up our water wheel, right? But I I don't know. I, it's free, but you see both of them. Oh, what? I wonder why this one isn't draining at all. It's only this one. Hmm. Oh, they're full already. All of these are full. Very nice. Okay, good. What do you mean can't work? Oh, I think that this one we can't have here. I think this one needs to be in a dark area. So we're going to have to build something. But why does this one say can't work? I'm not sure. This sucks that I cannot have this one here. Why do you have to have this in the dark? That's just silly. What do you say here? No recipe? So we're gonna have to move this one. Okay, this took me a little bit too long to figure out, to be honest. Um, I removed the moistener from over here and put it into here, into a little cubby hole. And I'm gonna have to have a... Ooh, how am I gonna do that? Um, I'm gonna have to put the piston down here. Please place it right. Thank you. And we're going to put that right there. Now let's see if... Okay, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to have this right there. Let's use the white block. And we'll put the lever right there. So that's how I'm going to be able to close this to make it dark. But another thing I noticed, and that is that when you place a block now, uh, in the path of these wires, they now break. Immersive engineering has changed and it took me way too long to figure out how to do this because that's a thing called now a a feed through insulator and that's not actually something you craft but apparently immersive engineering can now pass electricity through blocks so if I put this right there you see the power goes on on the top and this one has no power right now actually this doesn't need power Ew, that would have made this a lot easier. <laughs> oh, I did not... Does it not need power? Um, There's no RF. Do the other ones all have an RF? RF, 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 RF. So this doesn't even need RF. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier. So give me all that. But you guys now saw that how you can pass through power. So that is totally doable. And we can make this here... A little bit smaller. I am gonna leave the the corner back here, but we can put a block directly on top of this, like that. So now it says can't work, but of course if this closes now it should be dark. Um, so I don't see any reason that this should not work this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out here real quick. Um, we're gonna need at least a bucket of water, I think. And let's just sprint. That's all good. Put that in here. Let me get a second one just in case. And then I think we need to get some wheat. Where is this? I don't know. Let's get eight pieces. I don't know how much I'm going to need. And put this water in there. And then we'll put the wheat in there. And it still says can't work. Okay. And it's because no recipe. No matching recipe was found. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I need to have something up here. So this is going to make pods with leaves and with seeds. It makes mycelium. Okay, so I'm going to need seeds. Okay, let's just get eight as well so we can kind of figure out the ratio. Okay, there we go. So this is actually dark enough for you right here. I don't even need to have this whole setup down here. 
Well, I, I don't mind, because uh, I, I'd rather recycle this piston again. Okay, all good. That's good to know, that's all it needs right here. Um, is there F7 any access up here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. So are you making us mycelium now? I guess it's doing something. It seems to be using a lot of water. So let me keep this going here. Here we go. We got our first mycelium. Very nice. And now if I am not mistaken... That's a quest completed as well. Oh yeah, that was the right here. This one, Weissner Mycelium. So we get all of these done. And we'll continue this um, eventually. I'm going to let this keep going here. Um, I'll put this right here in the middle. Why not? Bam. <laughs> and now I think that if we take bone meal, um, which is right here. No? Okay, let's just break this guy down. Maybe three is enough. Maybe we get super lucky. No, we did not. Uh, it's also possible that um, it needs to be dark. I'm not sure about that, but let's just go ahead. Get a bunch of bones. And harvest this while I'm here. Where are the bones? Right there. Okay, it looks like it needs to be dark. Um, how can I do this real quick? Just so I don't need to pick this up again. Um, da da da. Let's get some slabs here real quick. I think I can figure that out. So one, two, three, like that. It should be dark in there. It totally should be dark. There we go. We got a mushroom. Yes, we got a mushroom. And that is all I needed right here. Is this one mushroom? Where'd it go? Right there. Okay. So because now, if I am not mistaken, we should be able to grow a big one. Place the slab again. There's our mushroom. So what happens if I break this block? It stays. Can I bone meal you now? Oh my goodness, that took a long time to figure out. All right, so now we know how to make a big mushroom. Now, before we go into the nether, I really want to do that. Um, I wanted to mention that one of you guys left me a comment that I should use the floating hydrogenas that they do not wither. And I crafted three of them and I had them in these three spots, but you see they are gone. So they do still wither. Um, that is not true that the floating ones stay forever, at least not in this pack. And I highly doubt that it do in the other ones either. So... But let's go ahead and take all this out, and I'm going to leave this all here. I don't need this guy either. We don't need to take the quest book. I do want to take the other stuff here, but I also wanted to see if I can make full blocks out of this again. Yes, okay. I, I'd rather work with full blocks right now. I'm going to keep some slabs so I can make the top safer. Um, And, and oh, hmm, armor. I really don't want to make armor right now. But I think we should. Um, just in case. I, I think it's time that we make armor. I should have enough iron. We're just going to make regular iron armor. And it's really not that hard to make. Um, to, to show you guys. I've been on top of the, the terracotta production here. There's tons in here as well. I'm going to leave it there for right now. Because otherwise I need to put it somewhere else. Alright, so let's make a helmet. Pants, this guy, and some booties. Okay, good. Suit up. That's right. And um, I'm taking the flint and steel with me because when I stepped through, like I told you guys, I got nailed by blazes, but I also got instantly shot by a gas, which then extinguished the portal. Of course, it 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 reformed when I when I stepped through here again to get my grave. And this is just here, so if there's any zombie pigmen spawning, they leave me alone on my island, okay? So, all right, before we go into the nether, I decided I'm going to upgrade my regular sword here. 
and we're gonna make a cleaver eventually but for right now i just want to upgrade this sword here to something better so i made an iron blade i made a flint white guard because flint it says in the book does more damage to non-armored mobs and then a copper rod so we can put ourselves the mending moss on here this is the first time we're gonna make mending moss where are we gonna put this bookshelf let's put this bookshelf let's put it somewhere over here in the magic area where it's out of the way let's put it right here yeah okay and then i think it's gonna just take 10 levels yes there we go we get our first mending moss and we can put that on the sword so it stays nicely repaired so how much damage does this do now? Just six. Okay, that's not a lot, but still, hey, it's better than what we had before. And I'm just gonna leave this cobble here. I don't need that anymore. And now we'll head over there and then hopefully I can make my way over to the fortress here. Um, I also made a bow by combining a bunch of the ones from the mob farm over there into a better one. And... Oh! Uh, I can just jump this, right? Mobs can't. And, oh yeah, and I also made two doors. So I have those with me and we can put those in there now. Okay, so... We're gonna put the first one... Right here. Oh, this is a slab. Okay, um... <laughs> How are we gonna do that? Let's go ahead and do that. Like that. And I can leave this open. Um, okay. Let's see. I still need to cover this up. I don't have enough slabs for that. Okay, I'll, I'll fix all that later. But we can put our first door right here so we can get in. And then we're going to do the same over here real quick. And like I said, I'm just going to leave this open right now. And I'll fix that in a minute. But I really would like to get going here. Okay, so I went. I'm the top. So I can actually just run out here. Come over to here. Oh my god, is there a lot of stuff. Let's close this off right now. Okay, don't panic. Okay, so four. Let's take a fire resist potion. So we stand a chance here. Oh my god. Why can I not hit you? There we go. Alright. So the first thing I need to do is make my way up. Uh, myself a way back up here. We're gonna do that right there. Alright, so I can get back home or upstairs. And there's definitely people that can come over this way. Alright, let's get going here. There's, I'm gonna have a lot of these places around here. Wow, there's a guy already up there. Because, you know, nothing else spawns here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There we go. So I think we're definitely going to be able to get ourselves um, with our skeleton skulls without a problem here. They seem to be spawning a lot. But I really wanted to get inside and check out some of these... Check out some of these uh, chests that are usually in there and see if we get lucky with something. Okay, does the bowl look different to you guys as well? Oh, sweet. We got a blaze rod. How you doing, sir? Alright, cool. And I'm not gonna light anything up so we don't stop spawning. But I'm definitely going to have... Whoop, that's one too low. A lot of wither skeleton stoppers here so if i need to retreat somewhere i can always get into a safe spot all right let's check out these chests here real quick i wonder if we're gonna get something good or 
but uh, it's just gonna be Ah, I take it. Let's see. Can we grind this down into diamonds and a pulverizer later on? Okay. And like always, I'm gonna take the chest, so I know I've been here. And let's do a little bit of sprinting. Usually I wouldn't. Okay, nothing here. So how am I gonna... Well, I don't want to close anything because I, I want to be able to walk around here. And like right there. Check it out. Three of them. So if I had a cleaver, I could probably get heads. And the sword seems to be doing a decent job. Um, but no, um, I don't know. I have no idea what kind of cleaverage we need here. Hello? Oh, waiting for server. Oh my goodness. Why is there so many skellies? Okay, you're coming here. You know, as long as I'm down here in the fortress, I should be pretty safe. Get a drop of evil. Now that is something I'm happy to see. Right? That that is awesome. That means we can make ourselves really the fire assist potion is already out. So we might be able to redo our mob farm into something a little bit more efficient. Okay, you know what? Why am I running away from you? Get some. And you too. Still no hit. Wow, okay. I'm happy now that we made this armor. All right, what do we got in here? We got a sinister drone. This one, I'm guessing I can smelt down into one <laughs> nugget. Oh, <laughs> or a little bit more this way. Okay, um, this is just to dye your um, vanilla tools if you want. Some Inori crystals with a skeleton rib. Very good. So I came back from the uh, nether and I wanted to show you guys I'm um, put in a hundred of these rice seeds and that should make me uh, exactly one bucket of seed oil but also that my armor is fully repaired and I believe that is from the Ivitas attunement that we have. I don't have the book on me right now but one of them said uh, randomly repairs a piece of your armor. So that is actually really cool because I did take a little bit of a beating, came back with one drop of evil, some horse armors. I didn't even explore the entire fortress. Um, I, I said I'm going to do that another day or whatever. There's not really any any rush. So all that is done and I should be able to get the... Wow, that scared me. Okay, so we got our bucket of seed oil. Sorry, I got quiet there. But I didn't know what was going on. And right-click the carpenter so we have that now. And now we can make ourselves some of the impregnated casings. I'm gonna make four of them to use up the entire bucket here so it's empty in case I need to make something else with water, right? Because I do want to get started with the bees today because, you know, bees take a long time and I can do a lot between episodes when I, you know, farm or prepare areas and so on and I can keep rotating these bees. And that is this quest right here that opened up. Uh, of course, we still need a scoop. But first we need to make the hives. It says just hives we need, okay. These things right here to set up a, a cold generator and then down here an oil generator. We do another day. Um, there's a lot of things that are open we can do. But like I said, I just want to get started with the bees. Because if you guys know bees, they just take time that I can spend between episodes. So we're going to make four of these impregnated casings here. Take the rest of this with us. And we need to make these here. I'm going to make four of them. It just takes any slabs and any planks. Okay. So that's easy enough. And I rearranged this a little bit. By the way, guys, I do know that when you have them next to each other, 
you can access them right um, up here in tabs. But I see no reason to to be able to do that. If I want to use this, I just click on it. If I want to use this, I click on it. And I filled this up with water and I've put two buckets of lava in this. So they're ready for when we need them. But I just wanted to point them out. I kind of like them there. You know, they're put out of the way. I want to keep this island as small as possible. I don't want to spread out too far because the further we spread out, that's what my problem was in modern Skyblock 2, the further I need to run. <laughs> and that just takes a lot of time, right? So let's go ahead and make this and let's go ahead and make four of these. All right. And let's put the rest of the stuff back. And this I got from in here because I don't have any more room in the drawers. So I'm going to just do one right now. The other three we're going to keep. And the way it works, I think, is... Yeah, we just transmutate that. So this one is going to turn into a forestry hive. So did this one here complete? None. Okay. And then you turn that into this and this into that. So I should make be able to make all of these with one. And then probably... Um, I don't know what I'm going to choose yet. Let's put it right here. I didn't even notice that. I'm not getting the particle effects. Um, starlight transmutation. This is an apiary I put down. Well, this definitely has sun access. Let's just see. Sometimes it doesn't work. Let's put it here. I do get the white particle effect, so it definitely does work. Mm hmm. Maybe we just don't get the particle effects. I am not sure. But this is definitely an apiary 48950, 48950. So that is the correct one. Um. Wow, what what is this? What? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is here, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna give this some time. I'm gonna wait out the night, and if it doesn't work, then we're gonna have to figure out what to do with this. Okay, so after a little while, uh, Pixel helped me out. He um, fixed something in the astral script and sent it to me to test it, and then I restarted the server, and it now does work. And you guys see during the day it switches quite quickly and at night you can imagine how much faster it is. Not as crazy as it was with these things here, the artisan work tables. Oh, it shows you the tank. I just noticed that. Uh, sorry about that. Um, not as crazy as it was with those artisan work tables. But it was still about twice a second. It changes quite fast. So, But we'll get to this in just a second because I, I, needed, I wanted to make some leather. And I figured I don't want to do this by hand anymore and there is a mechanical um, drying basin that I'm guessing takes RF again and I need it or I need to make two of these energy batteries and they need a bunch of these crystals these chunks right there and I'm almost out I think I have 60 49 left and so I set up a new uh, bonsai hopper over here and it's gonna make me a bunch of this stuff here that's what I'm really after but I need to make some um, 18. We're going to need to make two blocks. Now, let me see here. It's in this one, a jeweler's work table. Okay. Aha. So you don't make redstone blocks in this. Do we make them normal? Yes. Okay. I thought that we need to make those in there as well, but no. And we'll make two of these. One, two. Put that in the middle. And then those on top. And let's go ahead and grab one and one. All right, good. And I also made the thermionic fabricator here off camera. Uh, almost an identical recipe to these. And I added it to our collection over here. And we did not get a reward for that. So yes, this does need RF. So let's put that on top, just like the other. Because, like I said, I need a bunch of leather, but I don't want to do this by hand anymore. And it does it for me. Very nice. I'm not sure what the liquids are for. Maybe we can... No idea. Let's see here. Recipe. Ah, oh, yeah. Your blood turns into the hardened blood. I forgot about that. And... Clay turns into this one. This would actually be something as well. 
because it would run on RF instead of me using the furnace over here. All right, but I only need a few of these, but that's, well, might as well wait this. No, I'm not waiting that out. And now let's go ahead and make our bee smoker that we're going to need. That's what I needed the leather for. And we're also going to make our first scoop. Because we're going to need those as well here very soon. Let's see if that completed the quest. Yes, it did. Okay. So, and now the problem is that if I remember bees right, right? If I break this with a pickaxe, you just lose it. And if I use a scoop, I just get the bees. So, I am not really sure how I'm supposed to turn this in here, right? So, what I'm thinking of doing here is because there is this one mod in here. And I want to set that up real quick. It's called Carry On. And I think that when you hold down that key and right click something, so I'm going to make this something weird, like L. I have to reach all the way across the keyboard. Let's see if I press L and right click this. Okay, I'll right click it from the top. Okay, can I use this at all? What could I pick up? Let's see if I can pick up this chest here. From the top. I'm not sure. Did I not click on done? Did I just escape out of it? Uh, where's it at? Carry on L. I thought that that how it works. <laughs> not sure how that mod is supposed to work, but I thought that when you use it. Aha, so I did. It, then now it worked. Okay, so it let me pick it up. Let's see if I can do it here. Make it closer without getting hurt. Okay, it does not work here. Let me just double check if I did this right. L. Okay, so it does work for these, which is pretty cool. So I don't know. So I just restarted the server and the quest instantly completed because I told Pixel about this. And again, he came through within minutes. It's amazing how quick he is fixing the quests. I really appreciate all the hard work he puts into that and, you know, being on the ball like that. It's it's not easy, I bet, to make a quest book like this and think everything through. And he simply um, totally forgot that you cannot pick up the hives, right? Um, and even if it works with Silk Touch, Silk Touch, you need bees for to make Silk Touch. So he changed it now that all you need to do is make an apiary and then you have a choice of two of the hives right there. So it completed for me. And now... I can kind of, <laughs> I guess, um, try to get the ones that I want. That's the, I guess, the only thing I wish it... You, you can't really make it, so it, it doesn't convert after you place it down. It converted the first time, right? But maybe I make it take longer. So now, like, for example, if I want the forestry ones, that's the, the white ones with the this one we just saw. Um, not this one, that's the wind tree. We want this one. Right, because I'm in a forest biome, so why not just start with the forest ones? So I'm gonna try my luck here. Let's see here. When I'm at the wind tree and start, it might break it by the time I get to the forest. But I also have the bee smoker, so I definitely wanna. I've never tried this. I never used the bee smoker, by the way. Okay, so let me just use this here a couple times, and then we'll try it when wind tree comes. Okay, we got the forest ones. All right, so I timed it just right. I still took a little bit of damage, but it's fine. It doesn't kill me, and we got our first bees right here, which is cool. Uh, they still need... I think they still need flowers to, to work, but they just work the best in a forest biome, right? All right, let's go ahead and see if this actually opened up anything else. I didn't even pay attention. We can make the bealizer and then the... What's the thing called here? The escri escritor? It's probably pronounced totally different, sorry. <laughs> and then we get uh, to this stuff here and with Apiris set and whatnot. But I can get started now between episodes and that's what I'm definitely going to do. We can automate it somewhat, yes. Yes, I can. I did make, uh, that was for a different um, idea that I had. I made some transfer notes and some transfer pipes. Um, let me just show you real quick what I, what I wanted to use them for, but then I changed my mind. And that was right here. I have a hopper underneath the smart output now going into the wooden storage crate because I made one of these here, the slot upgrade one. 
which was, you know, just copper four chests and then another one of these base upgrades. But it only increases it by one. So this can only hold two ingots. And I'm like, you know, that's not going to roll. I really don't need it right now, right? But I'm just going to leave it in here because why not? Um, so the ingots get poured and then they get sucked out from the hopper and put into the storage crate. So this is somewhat automated. So um, it makes it easier that way. Okay, so um, let's see here. That was, I showed you guys that one. Yes, okay, so we have this. Let's just set this up real quick. I'm going to take another chest, and I just want to see if we can automate this real quick. Not here. Let me take one. Let's take a dandelion. And I'm going to need... Let's take one piece of dirt. Come over here. Let's just empty this real quick. I'm trying to wrap up this episode. I still want to do one thing, guys, but I hope you don't mind after the bees and that is i want to make some uh runes here real quick because now that we have the mushroom we can finally finish that one and i'll figure out where i'm gonna put that in just a second it's probably gonna make flowers here for me anyways let's just put the first one yeah why don't we put it let's put it into the corner let's put it right there so i have some room okay so let me put a block down underneath like that and then we put one of the apiaries on top. And then we'll put a transfer pipe. Okay, let me think here. Actually, we don't want to have it there. We can actually leave them on the ground. We don't need to pick them up. Let's put it here. Okay, let's put the transfer pipe right there. In the back. And then we come up. And over. So when it pulls out the finished princesses and drones... And then I will put them back in here. And otherwise, we'll just come forward one more. And I should be able to put the chest right here. Because it's just an extra hop, right? So it should always put it into this one first. Because it finds it first. And then into the second one. And we'll have to figure out if that works or not. I guess we can do that right now. So if we put the princess in here. And the drone. They should both go in here. And then, like, if I have combs or other drones or anything that don't fit here anymore, it should take them one further to here. Okay, and then we're going to take this right here. Going to pick that up. Oh, I did get it. Cool. Put this in here. And we're going to put our dandelion. And it's still not going to work because it's night. Okay. But this should be enough here, too, for these guys to keep going. And then we'll figure out next episode... Um, how we're going to start uh, crossbreeding and whatnot, or what do we even need to go for, right? And these I'm going to hold on for now. So let me just sort this inventory so it's clean. And I do want to do these here real quick, okay? So if I click here, I should pick all of this up and all of this. Good. I would really like to finish um, this part right here with all the runes so we have them. And the fishing tackle is right here. And it starts firing up. I have plenty of mana for this process. And we're just going to make all the different runes so we can turn also this quest in. That has now shown up under... Doo -doo -doo, right there. And I think now, because we have the mushroom, this one opened up. It's what's required to have the, I think, the moistener, right? So now that we have that, it opened up. Put that on there and get our first set of runes. And then we get these guys. Put that and that. You and you and... You. Right? Yes, there we go. Alright. And then now we're going for the other quest here. Oh yeah, we get the uh, Rod of the Lands and Rod of the Depths. That's actually a really nice reward. Do I need to choose one? What's happening here? Give it to me. Give me my goodies. There we go. <laughs> I want my stuff. And then the rune of mana here. Okay. And then we are done for today. Whoops. I pressed place items and Tesla A. Instead of tossing item, toss it on. Are you kidding me? Am I losing my mind here now? I did it again. I did it again. Like four times in a row. <laughs> All right. So we got our rune of mana and let's put this guy here. So we are all done with these quests over here now. 
What do we get here? A band of aura. That's a nice little reward as well. And I can put that on, so it's gonna passively generate me mana, right? That's how this works, I think. But then I cannot have the magnetism. So whenever I switch those out, I can actually get the magnetism and so on. Well, guys, we did a lot today. We we tackled the nether, which I'm happy about, and it's secure. Um, we got a bunch of machines done. We played around with all of this stuff here. We made our botania runes. Like, we really got a lot of stuff done. I'm very happy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll go ahead and get a lot of stuff done between. As well as get the beast going and so on. And until next time, take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.